Hey everyone, welcome back to my casual playthrough of Tetanus for Doom 2 by Squonkro Team. I left the series hanging at map 9 like a week or two ago, um, because the finals and all that, but I figured it was about time I actually finished it. And here we are at the final map. Once again I'm playing continuous because I like to do that. This... This is a bit of a challenging start. Because there's just lots of things around. Yeah, wow. Okay, I'm almost dead already. That's not a good sign. There's a medikit here, but probably not a good idea to use it at this point. I'm just trying to do what I can. Yeah, I'll have to admit, this new phase with Doom, not um, sticking particularly hard, I'm starting to burn out again. And that's probably to be expected, since um, I played way too much Doom for a while, um, up until finals. And you know, um, kind of how my special interests work, unfortunately, is that eventually my mind decides that I need to get into something new, like I can't stick with this. Um, even if it's really cool, I think Doom is generally, is genuinely one of the best special interests I've had because of how amazing the community is. There, there goes my first attempt. I need to figure out a good time to save, I think. Oh, fuck. I'm already taking all this damage. And, uh, I guess I might as well just use my continuous weapons to get rid of that pain elemental quickly. He's an annoyance. How did that rocket not kill that pinky? Did it land on the wall or something? I was actually aiming for the caco, which makes it even weirder. Okay, shoot. Yeah. So yeah, I've, uh, I've been sort of exploring new social, special interests once again. And I'm hoping to stick around in the Doom community at least distantly because, like, I really shouldn't give in to that anxiety of, like, if I'm away for too long, I can't come back. But that's getting a bit personal. So I, I guess I should just keep shooting demons in this absolutely beautiful map. Like, coming back to Tetanus after a while, it is prettier than I remembered, even. Maybe it's that my brightness is higher, or maybe it's that I'm playing it in a different room, but... Boy, this map is beautiful. Like, yeah, I don't think it would have looked this good with the 
original Doom palette because, like, just the blue water and the green just moss texture so vivid in color. Yeah. This definitely... As long as I don't completely forget about Doom in the next week, this isn't gonna be the last Squonker Team mod I play. I'm gonna be following their releases for sure. Because... They just check all my boxes. Like, they're, they're beautiful, and the combat is... super fun. Yeah. You know, after I kill this archvile and these goons as well, I'm definitely gonna want to save. I've gone a bit long without saving. Okay, there we go. Pretty quiet. So I can definitely save. Uh, all right. Yes. I guess I'll just jump back down here. I feel like... I'm probably gonna have to return to this quest site later. Ah, yeah, here's the other side. Also with an arch file. I can't believe I found the secret loot before the normal one. Did that arch file just deal exactly 100 damage to me? That's funny. Actually, rather, exactly enough damage to get me to 100. Which is an amount of health I am perfectly fine with. Let's save. Okay, back on the main platform. I guess the next thing to do would be this fight. No, I should probably get rid of the pain element here. Yep. Just so he doesn't become even more annoying later. I think using the intended pistol start route, I would definitely have had to do more of a scramble for ammo at the beginning. And I'd also be rocketing more considering how low my shells are. Yeah. My policy in... A lot of recent VOD playthroughs is to, like, play from continuous till I die, and then pistol start. Which I think is a reasonable way to make pistol starts feel less artificial, but uh, it's still kind of odd. Like, sometimes, I, I, I think the idea should be that... Um, what the heck? This is definitely quite the set piece. Or ambush or whatever. I keep calling encounters set pieces when they're really not set pieces, they're just encounters. Anyway. What was I saying? <laughs> First attempt on that. It's good. I like that fight. Okay, good. Got rid of that art file first. 
I don't like this. Yeah, I, I think I was talking about pistol starts earlier. Um, I think I should pistol start more often. Um, just on purpose, because... Mount Payne, in his Doom 64 video, made a very good point, which is that... They kind of force you to get creative in early parts of the map, and I, f I have a sort of sense that a lot of these maps are definitely designed around pistol start in a way. And they're also designed around continuous, which is uh, what makes them so great, but yeah, maybe that's the way to replay some old maps, is to just go for those individual level pistol start runs. Okay, I don't like where my health is at right now. Thankfully, that didn't reveal any enemies. Alright. I guess I gotta take a lift to get back up. And figure out where I was supposed to use the blue key. Well, I could go here. Figure this ambush. And immediately fall into this pit. That I can presumably get out of, but probably gives me a bit of a strategic advantage actually, because I can just retreat. Oh, but there's an art file somewhere. So I guess I can't rely on Yeah. Gotta deal with that art file. There we go. That's how you do it. Still got a lot of rockets. It occurs to me, desaturate was entirely rocket-centric, and I respect it for that. But I don't think... But I think all of the levels are... Um... Definitely have some sort of emphasis on rockets. It's like Squonker Team's favorite weapon. I'm getting a surprising amount of shells. Well, let's see what's behind here. Supercharge and Mega Armor are never a good sign for what's behind this teleporter. But I guess now that I have them, might as well head straight in with the plasma. And start circles vaping. I keep forgetting there's no shotgun in this map. Anyway, yeah, the super shotgun is, like, the number one important weapon in this game, usually. Those are two pretty intense fights. I like it. But I think I need to press that switch now. And there's more stuff. Ooh, bunch of chain gunners. Okay, glad I got rid of those quickly. One more chain gunner. There you go. That of course does not mean the imp can strike with impunity. Imp unity. Yeah, 
You know, I'm not fully focusing on the game right now, but I'm doing surprisingly well considering that. There's got to be a way to that Mega Sphere. Judging by those platforms, I wonder if I might just have to teleport there somewhere. But I don't know where. And I won't be completely ashamed if I don't get that secret, honestly. Um, this is... Uh, I should have saved first, whatever. Because this looks to be another big fight. Oh, yep, definitely a big fight with a cyber demon and an arch and two arch files. No way I'm surviving this. Come on, get to the second soul sphere. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's see, where was I? Okay. Yeah, this is... this map's just full of higher tier ammo. Much more than lower tier ammo, for sure. No, oh, I want the rocket launcher. Yeah. Doing surprisingly well for how unfocused I am. Uh... I'd say I'm sufficiently equipped for that last fight. Let's just go in. Okay, that's a bad strategy. This really feels like a climactic battle, like it's gonna put the whole wad together and test my skills. Oh, there come the art vials. Um. Ah, that happened quick. I don't know if focusing on the cyber demon is the best move. It probably is a bad idea, actually. Uh, I got pinned again. Okay, so I think what I should do is allow infighting to some extent, but also, like, deal with those arch vials. Quickly ish. Like, there goes. That should be enough to deal with one of them. Fuck, that cyber demon can snipe me at any time. I might have to use myth battle saves for this at some point. I missed a baby cyber from Pagodia, which is another Squonk routine mod. I wonder if maybe starting with the cyber demon is a bad move. Like, maybe my best move is to ignore all the enemies until the arch files come in. It would be super nice to have a BFG for this fight. Yeah. 
Yeah. As it stands, I seem to not be doing a very good job with this. This, this is definitely hardest fight on the map. I don't know about the wad because I don't remember it clearly enough to say, but it's definitely up there. Sometimes my finger slips like that. <laughs> Maybe I should just go secret hunting to see if there's anything that'll help me with this. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with so much shit. Like, just look at this. There's so much. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on the cacos, because they take up lots of space. And then... <sighs> My nerves get to me. And I think that's part of the problem. Because there's just too much stuff going on for me to keep track of. I try to retreat here, but then I just get pinned by Kakos and Pain Elementals. And then the Cyber Demon kills me, so... I really don't know what to do about this fight. What if I, like... What if I focused on clearing a path through here? Okay. I clearly need to see everything that's in my field. Hmm. This might be something I come back to later. I, I'm i not going to discard this footage for sure. I made too much progress to do that, but... I don't know if I can handle this fight right now. Okay, uh, I guess I'll make a mid-battle save here. I don't think I've used that for this entire playthrough, but I think it's justified now. Okay, there's one Archvial down. There are multiple. So where's the other? Ah, there we go. Then fighting. And fuck. <laughs> I might be able to get through this today if I can properly harness that mid battle save. Okay, art file one, dead. But also, I'm dead, so. There's another soul sphere somewhere in here, but I might have already taken it. Okay, 77% I suppose is a place, and I'm at 100, maybe if I mid battle saved here again, Not because I've got that arch vial, I just need to find the other one. Oh, heck. I swear, flying monsters plus infinite height is always something that confuses me. Did the other art file already die? Because I can find no hint of him. Maybe he got too close to the cyber demon. Just like I just did. 
Okay. Come on. Ah, wow. I'm... My ability to dodge cyber demon rockets is... Something that needs work. You know, I don't think I've ever played Plutonia Map 31 Cyberden. I think I skipped the secret maps on my first playthrough, and then when I got better, I played... I just level selected to go to it, but... I've never played Cyberden, and... Maybe practicing that level will... Answer my Cyber Demon troubles. I think... At this point... I can just fire rockets. Because I want to have some plasma left over... For the Cyber Demon. Or maybe the Kakos can kill the Cyber Demon. Or maybe I can die to the Cyber Demon. He's guarding the supercharge, which is super frustrating. Okay, there we go. Wah! <laughs> this is probably the most interesting I'll be on, on recording. Because I'm actually reacting to what I'm playing. Uh... Uh Yeah, I got to keep track of those rockets cuz they're the biggest threat. Every time. Every time I say something about the cyber demon and how he's really annoying, he kills me in retaliation. It's like this game knows me and hates me. I guess while I'm moving through this, instead of talking about the actual gameplay scenario I'm in, because apparently that's cursed, I may as well talk about something else cursed, which is my house dot Uh And like everyone's heard about my house dot at this point, it needs no explanation, especially to like the people who are gonna watch this video. <laughs> of course, everyone who's watched this video knows everything about my house that wad. But um I found a copy of House of Leaves, which was one of the main inspirations for it, alongside uh back rooms, liminal spaces, and probably a healthy dose of creepy pasta. And yeah, it is just as much of a journey. I can highly recommend it. I'm only up to chapter 6, and I'm not sure if that chapter number holds any relevance given the weird structure of that book, but... Yeah, you like my, my house, Dotwad? Read House of Leaves. Now that I've actually dealt with everything, I can finally press that button. Oh, there we go. Some stairs. Okay, that rocket launcher tells me... Okay, maybe I am done. It looks like the exit. Yep! There we go, engorged by Bobby. Okay, this whole wad has been... It's just... It's just as good as I'd hoped, um, and in some ways even better. And like, there are a lot of so-so maps 
uh, that I could skip if I if I wanted to. But there are also just some absolutely brilliant moments. Um, like I think salvage is a pretty obvious high point, but also like in gorge. Um, the mapper behind the Saturday Uber um, commented on my last video, and that was pretty fun. It's probably going to make the map stick in my head a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just as fun as I expected. Just as full of big um, set pieces. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, I, I'm i definitely going to follow more from Smonker Team. Oh yeah, and Bobby's last map. Um, absolutely beautiful. And that final fight was just the perfect climax to the WAD. And here we have just a simple credits map. I like how it gives us the BFG, but also this map has zero enemies. Yeah. Thank you for playing Tetanus. Thank you for making Tetanus, everyone. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do another Let's Play after this, because this didn't garner much attention, and frankly, I'm not particularly proud of the recording quality, even if I do Let's Plays, but if you want to see more content of this type, then I guess comment it. Otherwise, the Double Impact MIDI pack is out now, and when I have the time, I will try to upload a video of it that is hopefully up to the standards of editing of the videos I made for the Ultimate Vidi Pack and uh, the Doom Community soundtrack. I don't think I'm going to hire an SC88 recording just because uh, I kind of want that project to be over with, but yeah, stay tuned.